Assume Earth is at its end stage and you are searching for another planet to survive. Here comes, the Mars. Can we survive on Mars? How similar is Mars to the Earth? How it will affect our lifestyle? Let's talk about the possibility of life on Mars in this video. With our current rocket technology, one-way trip to Mars would take about nine months to reach. The moment you land on the red planet, what do you think will happen? How similar is the atmosphere on Mars to Earth? In terms of temperature and sunlight, Mars is closer to Earth than any other planet. But guess what? The atmosphere is toxic as most of it consists of carbon dioxide, there is only 0.16% oxygen. But by compressing and heating carbon dioxide to high degrees, can cause it to split into oxygen ions and carbon monoxide. By using a device we can recombine the oxygen ions to make breathable and combustible oxygen gas. and the surface gravity of Mars is just 38% that of Earth. Although microgravity is known to cause health problems such as muscle loss and bone demineralization, it is not sure if gravity on Mars can cause these problems. The climate is much colder than Earth, its temperature on average fluctuates between minus 70 and 0 degrees Celsius because Mars is about 52% farther from the Sun, the amount of solar energy entering its upper atmosphere is only around 43.3% of what reaches the Earth's upper atmosphere. Although it's cold, it is permanently sunny. This means solar panels can always operate at maximum efficiency on dust-free days. However, the surface is not hospitable to humans or most known life forms due to the radiation. To avoid radiation, lightweight magnetic shields should be used to protect ourselves. A solar day on Mars is 24 hours, 39 minutes and 35.244 seconds. And Mars has an axial tilt of 25.19 degrees, similar to Earth's 23.44 degrees. As a result, Mars has seasons much like Earth. The Martian soil is toxic due to relatively high concentrations of chlorine and associated compounds, such as perchlorates, which are hazardous to all known forms of life. So manure and other fertilizers will be valued highly in any Martian civilization until the planet changes enough chemically to support growing vegetation on its own. Vast deposits of water appear to be trapped within the ice caps at the north and south poles of the planet. By heating the planet may cause the water to turn into vapor and then result in formation of clouds. Which will help the atmosphere to get thicker. Eventually it starts to rain on Mars. Maybe in 1,000 years, there would be enough oxygen for humans to breathe. 